Today we're going to do two experiments, but the first one is going to be with Crepa's Expressionist Oil Pastels as a resist on a gel plate. Another one coming later. Stay tuned. So in this first experiment, I just grabbed any color of the crepas, oil pastels, and I'm just doing random marks on a piece of white copy paper. So I'm, I'm varying the, the, the thickness of my line. So I'm making some thicker areas because I have a feeling they will pick up a little easier, but I just want to see just how well the thinner lines will pick up because after all this is an experiment so I didn't really plan any particular design I'm just making a bunch of marks on a piece of paper because this is going to be collage paper anyway but you could actually you know create a full composition and draw it out with the pastels onto this paper and then transfer it onto the gel plate this is an amazing technique so I'm just doing a couple of papers, different styles, and again, trying to make some thicker areas, thinner areas. And I'm using only one color because the color does not transfer. We're using this as a resist. So the whole idea is that the paper itself will pick up all of the paint that we brayer down. Where the oil pastel is, the paint will remain on the plate. Therefore, this design will be transferred to the plate. And then we could pick it up with another color. So here I am using a cardboard to just make some textures on the paper. And I'm just continuing to make more papers. I want to have a couple to play with. And I'm going to do very simple gel prints. I'm not going to try to do anything too complex. When you're doing an experiment and you're just looking to see how well different things pick up on the plate, you don't want to get like too complicated with your um, design or use multiple colors and all kinds of things. We're just seeing how the plate reacts and how the different shapes transfer to the plate. So I'm going to start with a carbon black and I'm going to roll out a thin layer. And I'm just going to lay down one of the first designs. I don't leave it on too long. I just want to be able to make sure that that paper grabs all of that paint on the plate and just leaves where the oil pastel was. So as you can see, it worked perfectly. So now I'm going to just pick this up with Titan Green Pale. I want to see how well it picks up. I did wait for that black paint to dry. I'm using fluid so it dries pretty fast. And this is rice paper. So I get this rice paper from Amazon. It's called Advantage. And I will put the link below. It, I really like it. It has a thin, you know, um, smooth side uh, and, uh, and then a rough side. So of course I'm doing smooth side down. So it transferred very well. All right, so we're going to do another one. So I'm going to work with various colors just to see if different color paint reacts differently with the oil pastel. And as you can see, you know, we had the blue pastel, but it's whatever color paint that we laid down that we're going to be left with because this is the oil pastel is only as a resist. We aren't really transferring the oil pastel to the plate. We're 
Now see see how much different it looks. It's it's not that blue color that was on the oil pastel. It's the teal color that we put laid down on the plate. I hope this I hope I'm being clear. Anyway, I'm going to pick this up with Titan Buff after it dried, of course. Now this didn't pick up quite as nicely, you know, the the transfer was not quite as good as the other one. I think it was because it was just too delicate. We really need those um, thicker lines to get a good transfer. So it's kind of delicate and some of it was completely lost. So as an experiment, I'm gonna start with something light this time. And we're gonna pick up with a darker color. Okay, so this time it just left us with a white design. And now we're gonna pick that up with a manganese blue. It's a very pretty blue color. So if you do your own experiment, Try different colors, lights, combinations of lights and darks. And you can even do some that are maybe a little closer in value, but just know that it's gonna be very subtle. And that's, that sometimes could be very nice as well. So at the time I was doing this, I didn't like it that much, but now that I see it on camera, it's, I, I like it. So again, we're going black, back to the black. So you'll notice this time I used the purple crayon or oil pastel. And you'll see that it really does not make a difference. So I always love the black and teal combination so I waited for the black to dry and now I'm using my teal to do the pickup. And I got another good transfer. So in this new experiment, I'm gonna start with pyrrole orange, a little tight and buff, and I'm gonna blend them together. Notice how I'm going back and forth and across, and I'm just gonna make some backgrounds. I'm gonna make a couple of backgrounds, and then you're gonna see what I do. I had this idea as I was rolling out the white in the previous experiment. There were some shapes that were happening on the first roll that I really liked. So I thought, Let's try something like that, and but I wanted to have some backgrounds first. So 
So sometimes I also go like in a circular motion and then back and forth, back and forth. I don't always 100% mix it well, but in this case I was trying, I was going for a good mix. And I think I'm using copy paper on these. Pretty sure. I could usually tell by the size of the paper. The copy paper is eight and a half by 11 and the rice paper is a nine by 13. Okay, so I'm just gonna squirt on some and just go one roll. And see how the, it's almost like a Rorschach test. <laughs> And now I'm just going to pick it up with that paper that I just did, the blue. I'm going for a real organic look. And I love it. So while I still have a lot of paint left, I'm just going to grab that orange sheet and pick up what's left. And I still have more left. So I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then we're gonna pick it up. I'm gonna just grab those splotches at the bottom and bring them over onto the orange sheet and the blue. Okay, so we're gonna let this dry And now we're going to pick it up with quinacridone magenta. And all this will make really great collage paper, especially the blue and the orange ones. I love those big organic shapes. I think it will be a great background paper that I would then overlay with other more intricate papers, torn papers, cut out papers. And this also gave me an idea of just doing this right on a canvas as well. So my future abstract work might have this technique in there, but with minus the gel plate. Almost looks like a fish. Okay, so here are some of the papers that I did. Now these aren't great designs or anything, and I'm not even sure I like the, the marks for a collage, but it was purely for experimental reasons that I did this. I wanted to see, can I really plan these oil pastel resists so that I can do really nice papers in the future? I just wanted to see if it would work. And I didn't want to spend a lot of time planning something beautiful and then have it not work. And so in some of them, some of them had thicker lines, thinner lines, and some of them, like the cardboard one, it, the lines just were not thick enough. Like in this case, I really made some really, really thick lines because I wanted to see, and also those dots, like I could probably do a page of dots and that would make really great collage paper. This one I didn't include. I, I think I forgot to record it, but it was black and I picked it up with, um, I think it's a uh, pearl, pearl white, iridescent pearl. And then this is my first experiment. And I'd even picked up a little bit of that orange paint that was on the edge. I like this one because it's more solid and this one because it was the ghost of this one um, it's a little lighter but they're both good and because I could almost kind of incorporate them together because they really are identical but with different colored backgrounds 
And then I saw that roll off sheet and I'm definitely putting in that, that into my collage bin, paper bin. So I think this was a very successful session of two experiments. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to create, inspire, and share. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.